Well, some SEPTA riders, as we were mentioning, are very angry right now. They say that rides arrive late or not at all, and service has gotten worse since safety training for SEPTA workers began last Monday. CBS News Philadelphia reporter Kim Hudson spoke to some riders. They share what they want officials to do, and Kim has a response from SEPTA. This is a crisis in Philly. Wendell Zellers lives and works in West Philadelphia. He says timely SEPTA service has been an ongoing issue. It just got worse, sir. During the training. He is talking about safety training after recent crashes involving SEPTA buses and trolleys. That training started Monday, August 14th. Zeller said he planned to use SEPTA last Thursday, Friday, and Saturday night, but instead he walked more than three miles. I walked from 76 to City Line Avenue three nights in a row to 51st and Market, not a 31 com. Zellers also says the inconsistent service is costing him more money and fines for picking his daughter up from daycare. The going rate right now is $4 a minute. I'm lucky I'm paying $2 a minute. And the highest I paid one day was 120 I was late, an hour late. Writer A.J. Johnson says Zellers is not alone. We use SEPTA to go to work appointments, and we actually leave out early enough to get to our appointments on time, and they still can make us late. SEPTA Chief Operating Officer Scott Sauer says the agency is training operators first in hopes service will return to normal by the first day of school. Right now, we're seeing probably about a 10% absence rate uh, as a result of the training on bus service. So, and, but we are managing in such a way to try to spread it out so that no one route or one depot is taking the full hit. With eight weeks left to go in the training, SEPTA is asking customers to stay on top of delays by downloading the agency's app and following the agency on social media. In West Philadelphia, Kim Hudson, CBS News, Philadelphia.